and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carling Gaming Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we're heading through the rock tunnel right there in the dark. We cannot get flash because of the way the randomizer works. Our, the game only recognizes Pokemon from the Kanto region as counting towards our total. Uh, so we only have like three. Uh, which is frustrating because we're going to have to go through the cave dark. So I hope you're prepared for a really black episode. Uh, in the meantime, let's give a quick check in with the team. So if you'll recall, last episode, we caught a Sneasel, Alberta, who we put in the box. And we were trying to decide, should we add Sneasel to the team? Sneasel is dark and ice type. And we have Data, who will be a water ice type. Uh, we don't have any dark types on the team. And we do have a water type on the team. So it seems like maybe yes. But also, I simply I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Can't do it. We're keeping data for the moment. I mean, data we've talked about. Data has been having some some serious FOMO team action. Just cannot find a friend on the team. But let me tell you, I talked to the team about this, and I was like, you know what? We're sticking with data. I think it was surprising to them, uh, specifically like Dracus and Cece, who are kind of aggressive, and they maybe don't see data as that aggressive. Whereas um, Sneasels sort of have that reputation. You know, they're kind of sneaky, just looking. It's right there in the name, Sneasel, sneak, sneak, sneak right? Yep. Yeah. And I think what I hadn't really counted for is that maybe is how much I've, I've been mostly focused on how Dracus is like, has this jealousy of happy uh, because she just wants to, she, she feels that like alphaness. But I don't think I recognize that maybe Dracus had some respect for me as a trainer. And this, this decision uh, to, to stick with data, I think, I think Dracus really respected that. And so as such, um, you know, it really accepted data a little more like, oh, oh, you, you, the trainer, isn't just keeping data around because we have to, because we don't have other options, but because you believe in him. That's okay. Inter interesting. And so, um, that has been good. That has been good. It has made data feel a lot more like, because, you know, Happy and Sporkles have been happy to, you know, welcome data to the team, but data has only had eyes for, for Dracus and CC. But interestingly, the, the a bit of acceptance from them has allowed Data to just feel a little bit more comfortable. And so, um, I would say maybe not spending time, maybe Dracus and CC are like totally warmed up, but they, they are okay with Data being around, which is what Data wanted. And so Data can at least spend some time with Happy and Sporkles. Moirin, I dare say, was fast friends with Dracus early, but then along came CC. And so we've talked a little bit about the vanity of Moirin. It, it's not it just, it's not the same feeling of left outness as Data. You know, it's more like a, you know what? I'm great by myself. Very self-assured is Moirin. So uh, that's that's the status of the team right now. Who are we gonna leave in this trainer fight with? Um, let's do date. Let's go, Data. Come on, let's do it. Who knows what this person's gonna have? Bring it. Exciting thing in this episode is we're gonna be able to catch a new poke. God, that is a big asterisk. We have the opportunity to catch a new Pokemon in the Rock Tunnel. This is, we, this is good. Um, I mean, the team's looking so good. A Bulbasaur! Ah, uh, the ever interesting question, should we Aurora Beam it and try and hit the Grass type, or do we risk being in against the Grass type? I would say, no, let's not risk it. Instead, let's switch. Let's get a little team training. Dracus and Data, here we go. I'm going to bring it. Oh, how dare you? Suck it. I mean, Dracus should be able to take that. No probs. Does have high critical hit, but we're going to smack it with an Ember. Bam, just like that, very nice, very ni Oh, there's the vine whip again. So they do have a lot of grass moves on this thing. You gotta start being aware, our opponents are likely to have much more element-based moves at this point. Oh, you missed the poison powder? Weak sauce, Bulbasaur, weak sauce. You've got nothing to the mighty Dracus. Dracus getting very close as well to that. Um, oh, it's a poison type trainer, not even what I was expecting. Um, was expecting more of the grass types, but obviously Bulbasaur is also part poison. So there's that to consider. Let's just headbutt this thing right in its weird mouth. We're gonna get the flinch. Bam, another flinch, and Dracus is on fire. Excellent, well done, Dracus. You got this. Stay focused, stay focused. Now there's really no reason not to, since we have the Pokemon Center right here, there's no reason not to do this. I went ahead and stocked up on Pokeballs too. We have 18. I have escape ropes in case we get in trouble. I have repels in case we get in trouble. Normally the rock tunnel is a little tricky with the Nuzlocke because there's lots of gravelers in there. This looks like an item on the ground, doesn't it? Aha, cherry berry. What does that do? 
Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. let's find out. Berry pouch. Heals paralysis. Yeah, let's use it. Or let's give it to someone. Why not? You never know when it might come up. Um, I don't know who might get hit with it. Let's just give it to CC at, at complete random. Who knows? So, yeah, there's normally a lot of Gravelers in here you gotta watch out for, and a lot of Hikers and stuff, so they have Gravelers, which are dangerous because of self-destruct, but who knows what we're gonna run into. In fact, though, you know what we should do is switch to the Mighty Sparkles, our Mighty Minin, to Thunder Wave, whatever we get in here. We have to be very aware of Sparkles' stellar quick attack skills, which have knocked out, gosh, it's our, oh, the darkness. Okay. Oh, they said memorizing the layout was silly, but ha <laughs> ha, now who's laughing? I don't know who said, no one said that to me. Let's find something. What are we going to run into in here? What's it going to be? We have a chance to catch something. Oh, oh, never mind. Sorry. First, we're going to have a trainer battle. Apparently, there are not that many Pokemon in this cave. What do you got, Poke Pokemaniac Ashton? A Heracross. Woohoo! Very interesting. Okay, we can take you, I think. Me thanks. Actually, no. Uh, uh, mm, hmm, 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 hmm. I was gonna say maybe this is a good fight for CC, but because we could throw the intimidate, but CC is weak to fighting, so there is that problem to consider. Let's just see how the mighty spark does. A mighty spark. Mm, very good. That's the crit. Brick, brick. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's see. How do we get? How do we do? How do we do? Mm -hmm. Woo! Not what I like to see. Now I'd like to see one bit. Okay. Um, let's go into happy. I don't want to get hit by another one of those because we only did that damage with a crit. Endure, ha! Well, endure this crazy water gun. Oh! Horn attack. Man, oh man. I still, guys, I can't not see the butt. I can't not see the butt! It's, it's right there. I know you're all staring at it. How could you not be? How could you not be? Sparkle's good to level 28! Trying to learn charm. Ooh. Maybe? Let's see. Oh, yeah, obviously we're going to get rid of Growl because charm is exactly the same except better. So there we go. Well, I'm going to learn charm. Very good. Very good. And we're below 32 haps. Yeah, you got it. And the Machop. All right, we're just going to stay in and wreck this thing in its silly face. Kablamp, Foresight, mm -hmm, and Water Gun. Glad you identified me. I hope that helped you uh, recognize your imminent defeat. Man, we took way more damage in that very first fight than I would have um, enjoyed, but we're gonna just, just, let's not risk anything. Let's just go ahead and heal up. We're gonna try, I think, I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Who knows? I know, I know we're going the right way. It's a wiggly top! Oh, we can try and catch this thing. All right, all right, Wiggles. Do you want to be on the team or not? First, let's hit you with a thunder wave. Yeah, now you're paralyzed and you can't hit us. And we're gonna hit you with a charm too, so in case you have to sit here for a while and deal with your damage, you won't do that much damage. A disable, ha! Well, whatever, I don't care if you disable charm. Now, I've made this mistake before and tried to use quick attack on something being like, it'll be fine, and then it's not. And we'll throw a quick attack at it. Oh no! So you know what? Let's just, maybe we'll just throw a Pokeball at it. We'll just see what happens. Maybe we'll catch it, maybe we won't. It's paralyzed, it could happen, it's evolved. It seems unlikely, yeah, okay. I think we are gonna have to hit it. My God, I'm so nervous. Look, Sporkles and his crazy instant transmission Super Saiyan quick attack over here. Okay, okay, good job, Sporkles. Way to hold back, way to hold back. You can do it. We're gonna have to do one more, one. He even used defense curl, which is good for our cause in this case. Okay, I think we can do one more. No, sing, butts. Okay, we're asleep. Disabled no more. Oh, what? It used an orange berry. I don't like that. Okay, we're gonna try and stay in. Oh, it's defense curling again. Okay. So I'm feeling better and better about using. Oh, okay. See, good thing we used charm because it got five times on that double slap. Come on, Wiggles. Wake up, Sparkles. My goodness. He's so tired from that fight with the hair across, you know? Okay, I think we can do one more. It's finally paralyzed. It's the first time that's happened. One more. Okay, 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 I think we can do it. Let's see. Can we catch the Wiggly Tough? Can we do it? Join us, Wiggles. One, two, three. Click! We did it! Guys, we caught a Pokemon! A real rarity. 
That's two patches of grasses in a row that we've done it. Can you believe it? I hardly can. The body is soft and rubbery. When angered, it will suck in air and inflate itself to an enormous size. Oh, give it a nickname. Of course we're gonna give it a nickname. Hold on. All right, Kiana. That is from Kiana Vanderschiff in the comments. Thank you for watching, thank you for commenting. Welcome to the box, Wiggles. I might just call that, I mean, I know we just named her Kiana, but I think I am probably gonna call it Wiggles. That being said, um, you know, like, this is that's all in the case that we ever have to add Kiana to the team because we've already got such excellent pokes on the team at the moment. I think at the moment, Wiggle stays in the box. There we go, we found the ladder. Okay, let me see if I can remember where to go. Oh, we found someone. I draw illustrations of Pokemon when I'm home. Okay, if you say so, dude. That sounds, you know, great. Good to get it. Doesn't really matter what type he is. He's going down, Aurora Beam. Wreck it. Oh, ancient power. What? All right, whatever. I really can't wait until we evolve with Data here and get to Dugong so we pick up the stab on the ice. That same type of attack boost, in case you're wondering. Okay, this yawn's not gonna matter because we're gonna knock it out right now. Follow you, doesn't matter. Aurora Beam for the kill. Well done, Data. Oh no, we found, we're gonna, now we're gonna need it. Man, that's so annoying. I think we just stay in. This thing hasn't done any damage to us yet. And it doesn't seem like it's gonna. Encore, follow me, yawn. Can it do damage? I don't know. So far, I'm not feeling too concerned. We're just gonna headbutt it for the win. Well done, Data. So look at our opponent's Pokemon. Level That was a level 25 poke, so like they are getting stronger. There is no doubt. The opponents. That guy wasn't a great example because he was terrible. Oh boy. Are we lost? I don't know. A pseudo wudo That's interesting. You got this. You can take that thing. Yes, Data. Well done. Oh, trainer fight. I don't often come here, but I will battle you. Okay, bring it. Oh, primate. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I don't like the look of this, not one. Boy, who do we find a primate for? We, we, I'm discovering we might have a problem with fighting type Pokemon, as all the people in the um, comments yell that, uh, about Livid, who was a flying type. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, you know what we need to do? We have Aerial Ace. We need to give Aerial Ace to someone. That's the that's what we need to do right here. Mmm. Okay, let's see. I could try and growl. That would lower its attack. That would make it a little bit more palatable, as it were. I think we're okay to do that. Let's growl at this thing. Rage! Okay, so interesting. So now it won't get any stronger. Well, it will get it'll it'll raise its attack if we hit it. But if we don't, not gonna do much damage. If anything, it's getting weaker at the moment. Let's try and hit it with a water pulse here. Focus energy, oh, I really don't like that though. That's like crit mania right there. Um, crits ignore stat drops, I believe. That's how it works. Should we go for the flinch? Maybe we should go for the flinches right, so we can get, um... oh boy. <gasps> Oh, sure enough, there was the crit. There was the crit that we did not want to see. Let's bring in, let's bring in, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh goodness, let's go to happy here. You got this, big hap. Okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. Water gun. I feel like happy needs a kind of better attack. We're still sitting here, hit my chin. Oh gosh, okay, so hit my chin is tricky because you could have something like thunder punch. Uh, that's dangerous. I have no idea. I don't know, though. Um, we're just gonna hit it with a water gun and see what it does. Mock punch! Jeez! Okay, if you say so. If you say so. Mm-hmm. Let's go... Let's go bite. Maybe it'll flinch. No, that was a terrible idea. Oh, it did flinch, though, so... Obviously, I think, uh... Fighting is good against dark, though, so... Okay. Oh, this thing! Die! 
And what if it had switched over to a Thunder Punch just there? That would have been terrible. Okay, we need to give someone Aerial Ace, uh, and quickly, I think. Picnic of Martha! All right, so first of all, let's go ahead and Super Potion on Data! <sighs> Give me a heart attack, why don't you? My goodness, Data. And let's go to... We really need to give someone the Aerial Ace. We have it. Now, who can learn it? That's the other question. Um, basically, it's Dracus or Happy. Ha ha ha. Good question. So, the thing is, if Happy has it, Aerial Ace also helps cover grass types. Right? Um, but, but... If we give it to Dracus, it would eventually be a stab move. So that's even, I think I'm gonna give it to Dracus. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's give it to Dracus here. Um, and what should we get rid of though? So Aerial Ace does 60, Ember does 40. Then we lose our, well, I was gonna say we lose our grass coverage, but no, we don't. We just lose like steel coverage, I guess. We don't have any other fire attacks. Um, Rock Tomb 50. I'm, Rock Tomb, I don't like as much. This can't miss, and Rock Tomb misses all the time. Bite, good. We have lots of other characters. I'm gonna get rid of Rock Tomb. That's it. It's done. It's too late. Go bland. I, uh, maybe I should get rid of Bite. I don't know. It's too late now. It happened. Dracus learned Aerial Ace. There we go. Okay. Okay. Where do we go in this cave? Where do we go in this cave? Oh gosh, here we go. Another fight. A Clefable, look, this Wigglytuff and Clefable are in this cave. That's so uh, interesting. I don't really want to fight it, though. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, you want to fight? Bring it, dude. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, do you know about Pokemon cosplay? I've heard of it. I've heard of it. I've seen people do it. Data, go! Now, we need a psychic type is what I'm thinking, right? Uh, or a psychic move, anyway. Go, Water Pulse! Oh, confusion, but hmm, hurt itself. Okay, good. Let's see how... It seemed like it resisted that well. Let's go for the headbutt. Yeah, now we can go for some confusion flinch. There we go. You got this, Data. Boom! Excellent. And a Nidoqueen. Queen. So now we're talking. So yeah, it's another poison trainer, but we can just water pulse this guy into oblivion. Got no... I can't believe it's faster than us, though. It's four levels lower. Come on, Data! And we got the level 27. What? Pokemaniac Steve, take that. All right, and we're gonna go. We got an antidote up because, oh, that was our last, oh gosh. Okay, bad news, that was our last antidote. Okay, so that's a problem. That is a problem. And if we get poisoned again, don't need that happening. Oh, a Typhlosion, wonderful. Can you imagine if we'd caught a Typhlosion? Then we'd have a Feraligator and a Typhlosion. That would've been so cool. Uh, in the meantime, let's just, I bet this thing does good um, experience, so let's just go ahead and do that. Leer, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Water Pulse, dead, dead, there we go. Where is the ladder in this place? Come on! Pseudo Udo. Water Pulse. It looks like somehow everything in the cave is still weak against water types. Oh gosh, there's someone else to fight. My Pokemon techniques will leave you crying, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, we'll see. Oh, Fly Guy, this is really great. Okay, um, we're gonna Aurora Beam this thing, and hopefully it just goes down real easy. Mm-hmm, very good. It's Sand Attack though, and I don't like that one bit. Fight, don't flinch. Yeah, you got it. Stay focused. Boy, Data's having himself and episode can you see the confidence brimming from data with just a little bit of acceptance from dracus this is what happens oh almost got another level that was his one pokemon okay all right well done hiker allen let's see oh, man maybe we should switch though i'm gonna maybe start leading with moirin a little here man, uh, just because we've had a lot of things that are potentially weak to like those Mm -hmm. Where is the next spot in the cave? All right, I don't fight this thing. Oh, there it is! I found it. Amazing. Okay, so now I know this one. I'm pretty sure goes right. Oh, okay. This guy almost always has a couple of explodey gravelers. I think he has three pokes. If I'm recalling. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's four. All right. Well, let's see. Executor. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So you know who we're gonna go to? Actually, this works out really well. We can switch to Dracus. 
um, because now we will resist grass and oh, stomp. Okay, I don't like stomp. Stomp is no, no goose stub. We're gonna aerial ace this thing to slam kapow. Confusion. <sighs> Hang in there, Dracus. Don't get confused. Stay focused. Aerial ace. Use your speed. Yeah, you got it. You got it, Dracus. Okay, now what's he gonna have? Is he get all psychic or all grass? Meganium! Oh my goodness, this guy is an insane grass trainer is what he is. Oh boy, that thing is scary. We've had trouble with big grass before. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, that thing, okay, here's what. Wait, 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 wait. Did we get rid of poison sting? No, we did! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, that would have been the way to go because Meganium's pure grass. That would have been good. Um, CC, what do you got? We can at least throw, I would say throw the Intimidate, but I'm not sure that's gonna matter. <gasps> I don't know, if it has grass type attacks, oh boy. We're probably already, okay, let's do this, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's um, heal. Do we, do we already use the, oh no, do we use all of our super potions? No, we have one more, okay, 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 okay. We can use it right now. On Dracus, and we're gonna we're gonna scout what they've got. Reflect, ooh, sneaky. Okay. Now we do have Aerialist and Ember. Aerialist is the way to go, though. We're a physical attacker, and it does more damage anyway. So let's just go for it. And we'll see what we do. You can take this thing down. Ooh, it's big. It's bulky, and it's got. Well, okay. So now we have an attack. We, we've had our attack lowered, and he has a reflect up. So maybe we will go Ember, because that isn't affected by either of those things. Maybe we'll get the burn, that'd be amazing. Super effective, did about the same amount of damage. Use Growl, okay, so so far they're just trying to weaken us, but we can get around it by using Ember. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Okay, we got it, we got it, I'm not worried, although we should switch afterwards because our attack has been lowered significantly. Although, we're gonna come up against another grass type. What This guy has had some serious grass. Here we go, here we go. Ludicolo! Gosh, he's got serious grass types over there. Like, gosh! These are, like, Ludicolo and um, Exeggutor are some of the best grass typing out there. Because, like, Ludicolo, what are you supposed to do? Um, we're going to switch for sure. Because now, he's not, now you see he's safe from the fire attack because he's part water. Um, and we can't go in happy because this is a grass. So let's go to... Mm, can you even leech? I'm going to go to... We could try and, uh, we could try Sporkles. Uh, I'm gonna go to Moirin for a second here. I don't know if you can leech seed grass types. Turn into Shadow Ball. What is this because of the dark? Okay, well, gotta be aware of that. Let's see if we can, I don't know if you can leech seed it. Yeah, I'm gonna see. Doesn't affect him. Okay, well, that was a waste of an attack. All right, all right. Well, let's try cuts. See how much damage this does. Okay, decent. Are you gonna absorb us? Let's see, that should do just nothing though. Okay, so let's just use cut again. You got this, Moira, and you can take down this stupid sombrero duck. Okay, it's got nothing on you. Mm-hmm. Got him, we're fighting a pineapple with a beak. You can do this. You are the mighty Moira, and boom! We got him, we got him, this guy. Woo! Dracus go to 27, yeah. All right, what else you got? And a weeping bell, okay. So we're just gonna stick in here. We're gonna go for the cut again. Yeah, okay. Stun Spore, man, it doesn't seem like that should work. It doesn't seem like that should work. Rat, oh, classic, classic. All right, yeah, I'm not, not concerned about it though. Rat, yeah, okay, this should do it though. Boom, even though we're paralyzed, Moirin comes through, stays focused as you do. First of all, though, we gotta, whew, status effects are taking their toll on us in this cave as our, as is damage, which is mounting. So we're gonna use one there. Oh boy, this is our last potion, you guys. So if we get two damage, two danger, if we danger becomes two, oh gosh, wait. If the danger becomes too real. Oh, there's Exeggutors in the cave! Go away safely. Okay. 
Um, yeah, no, we're good, we're good. This guy, maybe this is who I was thinking of, right? I do not know where we are in this cave. A shroomish. That might have been fun to catch. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Do I know where we are or not? I have no, I think I do. I think we gotta go all the way left, up, over, left. I think that's it. Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't wanna fight the wild pokes because we just can't afford the damage. Ah, uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Do you know how you can avoid getting lost in the mountains? You can bend twigs as trail markers. Yeah, well not in this game you can't, okay? I'm just have to wander around in the dark. Oh, okay, dragon type trainer. Dragon type trainer alert. Let's go, okay. Data, your time is up. Your time is now. Not time is up, your time is now. Moira, your time is up. Data, your time is now. There we go. Aurora Beam. Twister, all right. It's a dragon type move. Oh, you got it, you got it. Oh, we cannot heal anymore. We don't have any more potions, so. Woo, hurt by rat. We we're just being hit with a bunch of weird twisty attacks here. I don't like it one bit. The only way we could heal, we could try and leech seed and then like, oh gosh. Oh gosh. That might be the thing to do is just, oh God, Moirin, good job, good job. We, and we got, we can get health by leveling. That's another a very effective way to do it, right? Dratini, is that, does it look shiny? It kind of does, am I wrong? I don't know, I think we got it. Let's Aurora beam this thing. Uh, let's hopefully we just knock it out in one shot here. Come on. Oh, so close. I thought we had it. Rap. Ugh, this guy's making me nervous. What if he has a drag? What if Dragonite's his last Pokemon? That's going to be very terrifying. Aurora being. If they. Oh. Okay. We got it. We got it. It's dead. It's gone. <sighs> Data driven battling, you guys. We got it. And what's he going to have? A Flygon. Of course he does. Okay. Part of me thinks we should just switch out. Because we are so low. We are so... Oh, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think we're going to switch to Happy real quick. I think that's what we should do. Maybe we should go to CC Because CC can at least throw that Intimidate action. Let's do that. Let's shift to CC and throw an Intimidate on this thing. Weaken its main faint attack. Okay. So it has dark type attacks. Or a dark type attack. Let's... Man, we gotta get a better attack for you too, CC. Come on now. Let's go tackle. See how much. Th oh! Two dark type attacks. It seems. Look how strong our tackle is, though. Sand Tomb. This guy's got all manner of weird, trappy type attacks. Oh, come on. Here, my Sand Tomb. Alright, one more to go. Let's do it. Oh, don't you dare lower my accuracy, you weird sand dragon. Uh, and we missed, of course. There's the Sand Tomb. We can do it. Stay focused. Another sand attack. He's playing dirty now. Literally. With sand. Freedom of sand tomb. We can do it. Oh, come on. All right. All right. We're going to have to switch. CC, I believe in you. You can do it. We're not switching. Four sand attacks in a row. Can CC overcome? No, apparently not. All right. Who could? They've had this much sand thrown in their face. We're going to switch it up to Big Hat. Big Hat for the win. Sand Tomb. Okay, that's fine. We can take that. Trapped by Sand Tomb. Okay, we're just gonna go for the water gun. Bam. Dead. Stupid Flygon. It's gone. It's gone. We defeated it. Oh, I did my best. Yeah, okay, you're, you're not bad. I will give you that. You are a solid trainer. Oh my gosh, they're freaking everywhere, these trainers. Haha, <laughs> can you beat my pala? Well, let's find out, won't we? This is a, this is a nerve-wracking cave, you guys. A nerve-wracking cave. Cave. Gonna go for the cut. Oh, it does not do a lot of damage. And we're paralyzed again, and this time we can't get rid of it. Mega drain. How dare you? Okay, not effective. Paralyzed, though. Mm -hmm. That's fine, because we can do way more damage. It's about as little... I mean, it's obviously as little damage as we could take. Tackle... I mean, only... We missed! Come on! Moirin! There's not even any sand in the air! You could do this! Uh, mega drain. Not gonna matter. As long as we hit and are not paralyzed. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Another one. Okay. Here we go. Here's what we're gonna do. 
we're gonna uh, we're gonna switch to the Dracus and we're gonna start aerial acing these things. Hopefully, and just pray we don't get hit by another. <sighs> these things normally have spore, which is like an effect where if you hit them with physical attacks, you can get paralyzed or something, or poisoned, or maybe we should do it with Ember, so we're not hitting it. Let's try that. Okay, super effective. But they could just use it. I'm just going to go for the Aerial Ice. Okay, okay. Seems like we got out clean. What are they going to have? Atropius! God, our old foe. The Tropius. Okay. Okay. I think let's go for the Aerial Ace. Let's see how it does. Okay, man. I just watched the episode. Oh, stomp. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Episode 5 came out on the damn recording this, and we fought the Tropius there. And uh, gave us some problems. The old banana beard. Those stomps are no joke. Oh, we're going to get past this one. Aerialis helps a lot. Dracus takes down yet another Brontosaurus-themed grass type. Boy. The Bronta Slayer, as Dracus is quickly becoming known around camp, I guess. Okay, we're just going to skip that guy, I think. I think we just have... Oh, see, now we have, like, this little volley of trainers in a row that we have to get through. Everyone is a little bit hurt. Everyone is a little bit hurt, I think. Who do we go to? Who should we lead with? I mean, part of me wants to just try and get out of the cave. Oh, wait. Moirin's better, because... Wait. Moirin has natural cure. Heals upon switching out. Okay, we're going to lead with Moirin. And we're going to try and maybe just leech seed something here. Oh, God, we're so close to the end, you guys. Eek, don't try to make funny in the dark. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. Okay, I just want to get... Oh, you've got... You've got... What level did we learn Ember? Now, that's what I'm worried about. Um, so what we're going to do... I, man, see, I would go to data right here, but... Uh, we're low on health, so what I'm going to instead do is go to half because I don't want to get burned by a potential ember. Nothing. You got your your Bagon is so weak to our Dracus. That's what I know. Water gun, kaboom. Yeah. Focus energy, not going to matter because you're going to go down on the next turn. Here we go. Water gun, kablow. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get out of here. Altaria. Okay, also not concerned. Also water gun. Oh, wow, okay. More defense than expected. Um, let's instead switch. Let's see how Scratch does. A lot more. Fury attack. Mm -hmm. We got it. We got it. Safeguard. What a waste of an attack. I'm not trying to status affect you. Happy gets the level. 33. Booyah. It was too dark. Yeah. Maybe for you. I think there's three trainers in a row here. You have Pokemon, let's start. Okay, what are these people just doing standing around in the dark? A Glalie, okay. I guess this is an ice type trainer. But I don't like this matchup, not one bit, not one bit. See, this is tricky because I don't know how, what answers we have to ice either. Because obviously now we're gonna send a Dracus. We could, mm -hmm. okay, I mean, happy seems like our answer, right? Maybe we could throw in Sporkles here, but dare we, dare we. Because ice would be bad against Moirin. Or, I mean, it would be effective against Moran, so I don't think we're going to leave him there. CC just has the damage on. That's the problem. All right, we got to get happy. We can't risk it. We cannot risk getting... Look at that headbutt. Ooh, it was a crit. They hit a crit. Let's go for the water gun. Okay, that was very good. Icy wind would have been bad. Doesn't barely do anything to happy, though. I just don't like how little, like, everyone's at, like, half health, which puts me seriously on edge. And they've got a Lapras now. Okay, so it seems like... Ice type trainer, obviously. Um, lap oh, yikes, a sing. Okay. Oh, look at that. We have a Chesto Berry coming in clutch. You never know when these random things. Please don't paralyze me. Woo! Body slams from a Lapras. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. We made it. We made it. Here we go. Come on, Haps. You got it. And the Jinx. Boy, what is this? Like young Lorelei or something? Come on. Scratch. Oh, I should have gone bite. What was I thinking? Lovely kiss. And now I'm asleep again. Just like that. Okay. I think we can... Okay. Come on. 
Come on. The lick. What oh, this thing is like status. Powder snow. Wait a minute. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Why did I think? Okay, I just had a freak out. There's like an ice type of move that is like a instant kill move. And for a second, I thought it was powder snow. And I was like, are you about to be kidding me? That cannot happen. Uh, it did not. Okay. There's the bite for the win. Okay. I think they have one more though. What is it going to be? What else you got here, young Lorelei? Gosh, what are the Elite Four going to be like? That could be oh, a Sneasel, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Why wouldn't it be a Sneasel? <clears throat> In order to get out of the cave, we're being haunted. Our defense has harshly fallen. I don't like that. Let's go ahead. It's Leer. Wow. Okay, why wouldn't you use Screech twice? That's the question. Seems like a dumb move, but it doesn't matter. You're dead anyway. And we destroyed you. Okay. Okay, maybe we're there. We're so close. I know it. It was seeking. I mean, I'm actually going to use this opportunity to mega, yeah, to get health back. Excellent. Well done, Moirin. Oh, there's another fight. Okay, I thought we were, I thought we were there for a second, but we were not. Ugh. Okay, right, that's fine. I think a Cordina would like to battle. I need a quake. No problem at all. No problem at all. We're just going to mega drain this thing, and we're probably going to get a level off of it for Moirin. Um, yeah, let's do it there. Double kick does nothing. Honestly, I think Magical Leap might be the stronger, yeah, stronger move. Get the level. Excellent. Level 28. Crushing it. Pillow Swine. Mm -hmm. So it's got the ice, but it's also weak to grass. Let's just go for the Magic Leap. Yeah. One shot, one kill. That's how we do it. Is Moira going to get two levels in one fight? That'd be amazing. Magic Leap again. Mm-hmm. Magic Leap again. For the win. There it is. Will we get the level? Oh, so close, though. Man, maybe we can get one before we just get out of the cave, because I'm pretty sure the exit is right, right, right there. Yes. Oh, man. Wonderful. Now, there are trainers up here we could fight. I do not want to fight them, because uh, I want to go heal. A Nanab Berry. Yay. So there's always this one trainer down here who's like looking around, like you can fight this guy. Most trainers in the game don't walk, but this guy does. Yeah, go see ya. Maybe we'll come fight you another time. We have made it to Lavender Town. Hooray, let's heal. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Yes, okay, good, good, good. We did it, you guys. We made it through the rock tunnel. Bravo, bravo team. Everyone's looking great. You're all so healthy. Oh goodness, there was nerve wracking at times. Look at that, everyone's up to, except Dracus, everyone's up to level 28. Let's go ahead and move you to the front. But I think that's where we're gonna call it an episode for the day. Next time, we are probably, what do we need to do next? I guess, hmm, we could go into the Pokemon Tower and fight Peaches, or we could head over to Celadon City. And, cause we have to get the Pokemon flute, we have to get the, we have to get the self scope first. So let's do that so that we are leveled up more for our next fight with peaches let's do that we're gonna head to celadon which means we can uh catch something on the way there plus it'll be interesting to see what the gift pokemon is because we can get um i guess we can check the game corner i'm not sure how randomized that is but there's also that eevee you can normally pick up and i don't know what that'll be i think that would be even more fun so uh yeah let's do that i'm excited for it thank you guys so much for watching make sure you leave a comment down below because that is how we nickname our newly caught pokemon if and when we catch them which is definitely not a guarantee on this particular uh nuzlocke run but we're, we're we're two for two in the last two routes so that's that's pretty good uh, otherwise, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future Nuzlocks, and I will see you next time.